Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Hallelujah. I bless God today because I know that our God is wonderful. Hallelujah. How many of you know that God is excellent in all of his ways? He's mighty. He's majestic. Hallelujah. He's wonderful. Hallelujah. My soul says he's wonderful. Hallelujah. He's excellent. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, hallelujah. There's no God like our God, hallelujah. He's majestic, he's famous, he's powerful, hallelujah. He is the great I am. And I came to lift up the name of our God. He's lovely, hallelujah. He's forgiven, he's faithful. He is the God that loves his people, hallelujah. He's the true and the living God, the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. There is none like him. Hallelujah. You know what the Psalmist David said about our God? He said in Psalms 8, 1, to the chief musician on the instrument of Gath, a Psalm of David, O Lord, our Lord. Hallelujah. How excellent is your name in all the earth who have set your glory above the heavens. Oh, hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word. I pray it go forth in clarity. May every person that is supposed to hear this message, God, I pray they would hear it and that your anointing would flow, break the yokes, break the chains, let them know and let them also sing a new song about how excellent our God is. Hallelujah. So Lord, I pray that you will lead me by your spirit through this little message so that your people would be edified and you, my Lord, would be glorified. In the matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I came to lift him up today. Hallelujah. Because there is just none like our God. When you think about all that God is and all that he has done, our mind can't really even comprehend now, this great God of the Bible, this God that, you know, created man first off. Hallelujah. Breathe the breath of life. Breathe in to him the breath of life huh? and said, you know, go forth now, be fruitful and multiply, hallelujah, and he said, replenish the earth and then after God had did such great things for Adam and Eve in the garden the devil came in, that serpent came in and tempted Eve and there was the fall of man but because we serve an excellent God, hallelujah he already had a plan in place, yes the devil came in, messed up the garden but God had a plan in place and his name is Jesus, hallelujah Jesus came to set man free. After that, the enemy had come in and destroyed what God had planned. Jesus came and made it all new. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He made things all new. And whereas the first man, Adam, messed up Jesus, hallelujah, went all the way to the cross for our sins. Hallelujah! And he won back the victory for us. And one day, hallelujah, we're going to see our Savior again. Now, one day he's coming back hallelujah and he is coming back not as the lamb hallelujah that was slain but he's coming back as the lion hallelujah that lion of the tribe of judah he's coming back in all power he's coming back in all might and all will look upon that slain one the one that they crucified and now has risen the one that sits on the right hand of god the one that says all of authority has been given unto me. The one who is the king of kings and the lord of lords, his name is Jesus. He is our Messiah. He is the great, hallelujah, the great one. He is, hallelujah, all that we need if we would just give our life to him. The psalmist said, how excellent 
excellent. That word means mighty. How great, how majestic, how famous, how powerful. Our God is famous in all the nations. Everyone knows the God of Israel. Everyone knows even my God, the God of Marjorie. I can put my name in there as well. And you can too. Everyone knows that he is a God that cannot fail. Everyone knows that he is a faithful God. Everyone knows that if he has his hands upon you, hallelujah, I don't care what the enemy does. Uh, he has to go through God because those who have given their life to Jesus have been made brand new and they are now part of the kingdom of God, a kingdom that shall have no end. How excellent is your name in all the earth. He's famous. Hallelujah. It says, you who have set your glory above the heavens. His glory cannot be shared. His glory cannot be touched. Hallelujah. He alone deserves the glory and all the nations. Hallelujah. One day we'll see the true and the living God. There is none like him. Hallelujah. If you read over in the book of Revelations, it tells you on his name, on his thigh, there shall be a name written. Hallelujah. And he shall come back triumphantly. Oh, hallelujah. Do you love him today? Hallelujah. Do you exalt him? Do you worship him? Lift him up today. There is no God like Jehovah. Hallelujah. None can compare to this great God that we serve. He is the great God and I wanted to give him praise. How excellent. How, hey, how excellent is his name. When I think about the goodness of our God, I don't care what's going on around I don't care what's going on in my life. I don't care about anything but worshiping our God. Letting him know that there is nothing that can come between us. Hallelujah. There is nothing that can snatch the word. Hallelujah. That word that I have hidden in my heart. It is his word that I stand on and believe. Hallelujah. Every word that came from his mouth. He has communicated with us a lot. Have you read your Bible? Do you know what God God is saying to you on today. Hallelujah. Do you know how much he loves you? Do you know how much he cares? Do you know how much he has fought and won the battle for you? We are triumphant in him. Hallelujah. Because of the blood of Jesus that has been shed. Hey, we have the victory in Christ Jesus. We are no longer bound, but we have been set free. We have been made to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We are royal priesthood, sons and daughters of the most high God. Hallelujah. And I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you have to face. I don't care. It, this down here on this earth is not eternal. We're just passing through this. Hallelujah. We belong to the kingdom of God. That kingdom that shall have no end. Oh, do you know how much you're worth? Do you know what God has invested in you? Hallelujah. You are truly loved by God. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you today to just give our God the praise that is due his name. He is excellent. He is majestic. He is famous. He's powerful. Give God the praise and exalt him higher than what you are facing. Hallelujah. I want you to know today again that God loves you. I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, give God the praise. Hallelujah. And keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was 
was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3, 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.